Hey guys, this is Leanne. Are we this starting? Is, yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh. <laughs> Are you ready? Hey guys, this is Leanne. This is my January 2018 vlog, and my boyfriend Zed is with me. Um, we are going to do a one year anniversary video, just talk about some lessons learned, as well as answer four questions that we answered when we were together for a month, and just see how those answers have changed. So through this year together, we've gone through so many changes. Like when we first started dating, I was doing contract jobs, Zed was in school, partway through dating, um, Zed graduated, and then we started working for the same employer um, at the same summer job, which I would not recommend to anyone. And then after that, we got our first full-time adult job. So we went through a lot of transitions together during this year. Absolutely, it was a huge transition. We, for example, I myself moved three times, and we both got our own cars. Mm -hmm. It's been quite a year. So I think that being in this relationship for a year, my perspective, I think, on love and relationships has definitely changed. When we were first together, um, during our first month vlog, or just the first few months we were together, I thought we were always on the same wave. Like, I just didn't think that we would ever really have any fights because we were kind of always connected mentally, like thinking the same thing. Um, so it's like, how, how could we ever fight, you know? Boy, was I wrong. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know what? Like, I think my perspective on relationships has changed in a way where it's, I've realized that throughout life, your life is going to change, just like throughout this transitional year, like so many different things have We've been through so many different stages of our lives, so naturally your relationship will change accordingly as well. Um, and I guess I just learned the very obvious idea that you need to put in a lot of work to make a relationship happen. I think that's a very good way to put it, the analogy of being on the same wave. More like wave in an ocean, how there are currents that may pull you away, but ultimately you're still headed towards the same direction and I think that's what is most important. So the wave itself could represent personality, values that you believe in, things that you really cannot change and you shouldn't try to change in a person. As long as those align, you can absolutely work together and work towards being together. So if you look at our one month anniversary video, we answered four questions and we're going to answer four very similar questions right now just kind of see how our answers have changed over time. Question number one, best date. So one day, like this is when Zeb was living at UBC, um, we were on, we decided, there was like a warehouse sale from downtown. If you're familiar with the layout of Vancouver, UBC is like its own little city, like west, west, west Vancouver. Um, and then we decided to walk all the way into downtown to go to this warehouse sale. Um, and it was like a three hour walk, it was so much fun, it was this really sunny day. So you start off at UBC going through the campus, when you exit the campus, it's so much greenery and you're by like houses in West Van and they're so beautiful, like huge houses, beautifully trimmed gardens. Um, you hit the beaches and then you cross the bridge and then it becomes more dense and you see all sorts of different people. Um, there's a little cat following us for like a few blocks as well. It was so cute. Um, and then we finally, so three hours later we walk like through Vancouver uh, to the warehouse sale and I just remember sitting down at the warehouse sale. We didn't buy anything, did we? Well, there wasn't much guys clothing. Guys clothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much guys clothing and there was girl stuff, but I was just so tired. Yeah. yeah. We just sat down and, well, I sat down. I remember I was sitting down and he was like, you should shop. Like, we walked three hours to get here. The yeah. bus fare was pretty expensive, so we had to walk. <laughs> so that would be my favorite date. Um, one of my favorite dates, well, there are many, but one of them definitely, back when I was living downtown, we would take long walks together walking to Stanley Park, walking back to English Bay, usually two hours on average. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice to just step away from the busy life and from everything and just walk down to English Bay, just people watch and see what everyone else is doing and really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Just taking in the surroundings and really spending quality time with each other. And when we would usually go walking around, it would be like nighttime-ish, so we would see 
sunset, the lights go on, downtown, it's fun. Question number two, worst date. So for me, I am not a fan of eating out with this guy. I... <laughs> Okay, so like firstly, I'm a really impatient person, so I hate the process of like waiting to order, waiting for my food, and waiting for the check is the worst part. I just want to pay and go, so like I think that's my problem. If we're out with a group of friends, that's okay, um, but if it's just us two, I don't enjoy the waiting process, and also I think our habits are a little different. I'm like... I don't really pay attention to anything else that's going around around, around me um, and he's like pretty conscientious about his surroundings, he doesn't like be too loud so I feel like when we, it's us two eating out, I just, I don't enjoy those dates. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I think one of the worst dates would definitely be, so it was a special occasion planned about a week, did a lot of research to go to this particular restaurant really looking forward to trying the food there and just having a good night out uh, of course it didn't turn out that way and when we when we got into a fight, an argument and definitely my fault and Leanne starts bawling her eyes out at the dinner table and I just became really sad and well, I, I think the food was good but I just did not enjoy it and at the same time I felt very bad for the waiter who was serving us because I could it's clearly pretty awkward and see this is what I mean when we go out to eat like I do not care about my surroundings if I'm upset I will ball I will just do my thing in my space and that is like very aware of how other people are viewing the situation but I, you know what? I don't even remember what we fought about. I, at that, that that was a shame because you planned that dinner. I do remember that dinner. Um, you planned it. And yeah, the, way, the waiter, way. the waiter brought over a really cute special occasion dessert, and yeah, it was, it was awkward. <laughs> okay, question number three: pet peeve. So my pet peeve with this guy is that he really like. It's out of love 100%, but he really thinks he knows, like, what's best for me. Like, we'll be going out, and he'll be, like, insistent, like, you should really bring a jacket, you're gonna get cold. Um, or, like, you know, we will grab a bite, and he's like, you really should eat something. Like, yeah, he just really, ins he, like, I'm like a little kid. <laughs> he's insistent that he knows. Well, I wouldn't push it that far. I mean, a large part of it is definitely... If she doesn't bring a jacket out, she's going to end up wearing my jacket and I'm going to be cold. Or she's going to end up eating my food and then I'm going to be hungry. But I know, that's it's totally okay. That's part, of, that's part of having a girlfriend. Yes. Okay, so what's your pet peeve with me? Oh, this is a tough one. There are way too many. I, one of the pet peeves would probably be sometimes not too aware of our surroundings. Or maybe not too aware, just don't care. For example, if we're out in public, she might be talking really loudly and then I'm thinking, hey, maybe we shouldn't talk so loudly so we don't disturb other people. But then I realize all her friends talk really loudly too and maybe I am just soft-spoken. But you like what? You love my friends. Oh, I do. They're absolutely amazing. Yeah, but we're, we're a loud group. <laughs> Last question, question number four. What is a... Uh the best quality or good quality in your partner. So for me, something that I really appreciate out of Zed is that when we're fighting about something like not too serious, he will make a joke out of it. Like I feel like sometimes um, I'll just get really irritated about something and I'll start reaming him out and it's not a big deal, like it's not a deal breaker. Um, and then he'll either start imitating me or he'll like make a faces at me. Um, he'll bring up a new topic and you just like he'll start laughing and then I can't like yeah I just I can't be so aggressive and mad anymore and I start laughing and I like it I like it because he he makes the situation really lighthearted and I always end up just happy instead of irritated of course you gotta pick your battles so you have to know when you can actually <laughs> joke and 
there are times when I joke and it absolutely backfires and she's like, you're not taking this seriously. So you have to know when to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, best qualities. Now, this is also a tough one because there are a lot of great qualities of Leanne. Uh, one of them I would say would definitely be just her personality and her constant drive and she's always wanting to push me to do more, to do better. For example, what you're doing now is great, but you can do better, right? And I think that itself is a great quality to have in a partner. Someone who not just compliments you, but someone who pushes you to improve. Thanks. Happy one year. Happy one year. Welcome to our... We're at level get getaway right now, so we'll show you the view. Come, we'll turn the camera around.